9 Things That Happen To Your Body When You Don't Have Sex For A While If you're experiencing a period of sexual abstinence, be aware that some myths are simply not true. Your vagina won't grow cobwebs, tumbleweeds won't roll across your pelvic floor, and your intimate bits won't require a crowbar and a sacrificial goat to access. In reality, there are some physical consequences of going without sex, but they are mainly due to missing out on the health benefits that sex can provide. It can be frustrating, but rest assured, you won't freeze up, grow a new hymen, become incapable of intimacy, or drop dead from sexual frustration. Lifelong celibacy differs significantly from having experienced sex and then stopping. Yes, scientists do study celibate individuals, the nun study, which examines the health of 600 American nuns, has been ongoing since 1986. If you've had sex before and are now abstaining, the impacts extend beyond a persistent urge for intimacy. While celibacy does affect your body, these effects are not life-threatening and certainly won't hinder your future sexual experiences. Here are 9 things that happen to your body after you stop having sex. 1. Can your vagina tighten? Abstaining from sex doesn't make your vagina tighter, that's a myth. The sensation of tightness isn't affected by how many sexual partners you've had, and taking a break doesn't make you a virgin again. Your hymen doesn't regrow, regardless of any middle school rumors. However, the vaginal tissues might temporarily lose the habit of relaxing in response to arousal or insertion and may need some time to readjust when you resume sexual activity. Don't worry, they'll remember. People who abstain from sex for an extended period may experience weakening of the pelvic floor muscles, known as atrophy. Strong pelvic floor muscles are essential for improving bladder tone, preventing urine leakage, and achieving high-quality orgasms. Those with vaginas who refrain from sexual activity might also encounter pelvic floor dysfunction, which could lead to painful conditions such as vaginismus when they attempt penetrative sex again. 2. Can you develop erectile dysfunction? This is an intriguing finding, but perhaps not the most welcome news if you have a penis and are taking a break from intercourse. A 2008 study published in the American Journal of Medicine suggests that abstinence may increase the likelihood of erectile dysfunction. While the study focused on older individuals, it indicates that regular sexual activity positively affects erections. It's a case of, use it or lose it. Additionally, regular ejaculations might help reduce the risk of prostate cancer, though these don't require a partner. 3. Can it affect your immune system? Sexual activity appears to have a positive impact on your immune system. In people with uteruses, these changes seem to facilitate pregnancy. On the downside, if you're not engaging in regular sexual activity, you might miss out on these benefits and become slightly more susceptible to illnesses and infections that your immune system would typically fend off. However, Dr. Jody Horton, MD, a medical advisor at Love Wellness, a supplement company, notes that there are many other ways to boost your immune system. These include meditation, yoga, getting 8 hours of sleep, eating a healthy diet, and staying physically active. 4. Can your libido decrease? The, use it or lose it, concept applies here as well. Unlike hunger, sex is not a drive that intensifies with deprivation. Instead, sex operates as a reward system, when we have enjoyable sex, we crave more of it. Consequently, if you abstain from sex for a long time, you may become quite comfortable without it. To maintain your sex drive, consider masturbating, as it provides a similar release of mood-boosting hormones. 5. Can it affect your mental and physical health? This is another example where the positive effects of regular sex, such as stress reduction, can turn into negatives when sex is lacking, leading to heightened stress reactions. According to a 2016 study published in the Journal of Health and Social Behavior, engaging in satisfying sexual activity appeared to shield women from heart conditions like hypertension and rapid heart rate later in life. The positive emotions associated with intimacy evidently provide significant benefits for heart health. Therefore, if you've been accustomed to the stress-relieving benefits of sex, its absence may negatively affect your ability to cope with anxious moments. People may experience increased agitation, especially if they typically used sex as a way to unwind and relax. Sex is intricately linked to mood, self-esteem, and the release of feel-good hormones such as dopamine and oxytocin. 
If you notice a decline in your mood and suspect that a lack of sex may be a factor, it's crucial to seek alternative methods to stimulate these hormone releases, such as exercising, connecting with friends, or taking a bath. Point six. Can it hurt your cardiovascular health? 6. Can it hurt your cardiovascular health? So, we understand that a healthy sex life is closely connected to cardiovascular health, and a period without sexual activity removes those hormonal and aerobic benefits. However, there hasn't been extensive research into the specific effects on the heart after an extended period without sex. It's possible that channeling sexual frustration into exercise, like hitting the treadmill, could potentially lead to improved heart health compared to before abstaining from sex. 7. Can it make it hard to get wet? It appears that maintaining a regular sex life helps keep your sexual organs functioning smoothly, whereas abstaining for a period can lead to a slower response when you resume, metaphorically speaking. Sexual health experts highlight that the lubrication process during arousal benefits from regular activity. If you take a break, you may find you need extra assistance to get aroused again when you return to sexual activity. However, this may primarily apply to individuals who are not experiencing perimenopause or menopause. It's important to note that decreased estrogen levels associated with menopause can affect lubrication and blood flow in the vagina, rather than solely being due to a lack of sexual activity. 8. Can it drastically lower your risk of UTIs and STIs? Finally, some positive news. While the risk of sexually transmitted infections, STIs, may not be surprising, urinary tract infections, UTIs, are frequently caused by bacteria transferred to the urinary tract during sex, especially from the anus. Therefore, abstaining from sex can help reduce the risk of UTIs. However, it's important to note that you can still contract various STIs through non-sexual contact, so complete safety isn't guaranteed. 9. Can it make you less smart? There's a common myth that abstinence makes you more intelligent. In reality, scientists have found the opposite to be true, sexual activity promotes neuron growth in the hippocampus of the brain. Abstinence, on the other hand, does not stimulate brain growth at all. So, if you suddenly find yourself exceptionally productive or solving a crossword puzzle for the first time in weeks, it's likely due to boredom rather than any cognitive improvement. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.